Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading Dickory Do Learn School Safety by Steve Herman. Hello, my name is Drew. Perhaps you've read some books before, which I wrote with Dickory Do, my dragon. Well, this is just one more. This book is important for the lesson that is in it, so I'll get to the point and I'll begin it right this minute. This lesson was at school, but it wasn't math or reading, or history or science, but something else that we were needing. Officer Curtis keeps us safe at school every single day, when we're learning in our classrooms and at recess when we play. If we are in danger, Officer Curtis will alert us, and he's always on the lookout for someone who might hurt us. We love our Officer Curtis, and he loves us all as well. Last week he had a message, which he said he had to tell. He came into our classroom for a special presentation. What does he have to say? We wondered with anticipation. Listen very closely, he said, to what I'm about to say. It's the most important message and may save your life someday. Well, that got our attention. It sounded serious indeed. We were prepared to listen closely. That was guaranteed. Our school is very safe, he said. I don't want you to be scared. But sometimes bad things happen, and we all should be prepared. I'm here to help you practice what to do if danger's near. So gather close around. This is something you must hear. The children sat up straight and listened. They were quiet and still. Then Officer Curtis said, Today, we're going to learn a drill. This is not a fire drill. It's a drill to practice how to protect ourselves from bad guys. Are you ready now? Bad guys in our school? cried Diggory. He was quite alarmed. But Officer Curtis reassured him, it's not likely you'll be harmed. We are very careful to make sure our school is the safest place, but we must practice with these safety drills, children, just in case. The first drill we will practice is called a lockdown drill. For this, we must be very quiet, not wiggle, but be still. We will do a lockdown if a bad guy gets inside. To keep from getting hurt, it's important that we hide. Your teacher will turn out the lights and then she'll lock the door. You must be even quieter than you've ever been before. For there may be more instructions you don't want to miss. He smiled and said, you're often noisy and that's why we practice this. The children giggled when he said that. They knew that he was right. But they promised they'd behave, stay very quiet, and out of sight. What if someone knocks, asked Diggory, and says, please let me in? It could be a friend we know. Tell us, what should we do then? Officer Curtis told the children, the door stays shut and locked. Your teacher will decide how to help someone who's knocked. Then Diggory Doo suggested, maybe we could all pretend. The big bad wolf is at the door and wants to be let in. That's a great idea, said teacher, that Diggory Doo has got. Did the pigs let in the big bad wolf? You know that they did not. Our classroom is like a strong brick house, all the kids declared. The big bad wolf may huff and puff, but we will not be scared. Officer Curtis told the kids they may need to make a stack of chairs and desks to block the door to hold the bad guy back. Do whatever teacher tells you, but be very quiet and fast. Then Officer Curtis left the room. Time for our drill, at last. Then from the speaker up above, they heard their principal say, Lock down, lock down, lock down and all the children right away became as quiet as they could be as teacher locked the door 
and turned out all the lights like Officer Curtis said before. Then someone banged upon the door, for this was necessary, to practice being still and quiet, even when it's scary. Little pig, little pig, let me in, Officer Curtis said, just like he was the big bad wolf in the stories they had read. The children all remembered how to do what they'd been taught. They ignored the big bad wolf the way they knew they ought. Soon their teacher told the children, now the drill is done. You did very well today. I'm so proud of everyone. Then Officer Curtis used his key to let himself back in. Does anyone have questions? He asked the children then. Now's the time to ask about what you don't understand. Diggory had a question, so he was first to raise his hand. Please tell us what to do, he said, if the bad guy gets inside, even if we're quiet and still, and do our best to hide. The children nodded in agreement, for they were wondering too. Just like my dragon Diggory do, they weren't sure what to do. That's a first-rate question, Officer Curtis then replied. Here's what you must do if an intruder gets inside. Grab anything that you can find, a laptop, book, or chair. Throw it hard at the intruder and then run. Get out of there. Another child spoke up and said, I don't know what to do at all, if I'm not in the classroom, but somewhere in the hall. When a bad guy's in the building, I'm afraid I do not know. When I hear lockdown, lockdown, where I'm supposed to go? Find a safe place, like the closest classroom, where you can seek protection. If you hear sounds of danger, run in the opposite direction. You may even need to run outdoors, if you must get away. Officer Curtis advised us all, seek safety, don't delay. Then we learned another drill. It is called evacuation. That is when we leave the building due to a situation, which makes it dangerous to stay. If that happens, we must go. That's why evacuation is a procedure we must know. Officer Curtis said, your teacher will lead and show the way as she takes you from the building to a safer place to stay. Remember, don't be scared, for we probably never will face danger here, but just in case, we practice with the drill. Teacher said, let's practice now. Evacuation, follow me. The children went with teacher, quick and quiet as they could be, down the hall and out the door, then across the parking lot, following instructions just the way they had been taught. Good job, said Officer Curtis. Then they all returned back to the classroom to discuss everything they'd learned. He said, I understand these practice drills may scare you, but it's important that we do them, for they are to prepare you. So you know just what to do to protect yourself in case a bad guy ever managed to get inside this place. And I want you to remember that I'm watching over you, and your teachers and your principal are watching closely too. But children, that's not all. Even you can help us out. Each and every one of you can be a safety scout. A safety scout? What's that? The children asked. They were overjoyed to hear there was a job for them to help their school avoid a dangerous situation. So they asked, what can we do? Diggory Dew could hardly wait to be a helper, too. Officer Curtis said, If you see someone you don't know or haven't seen before, and they are in our schoolyard or they come inside the door, do not approach that stranger. Tell a grown-up that you know who can decide if they belong or if they have to go. We can do that. We'll be glad to was everyone's reply, especially Diggory Dew, for he is a helpful guy. 
Then Officer Curtis said, let's have a quick review. To make sure when there is danger, you know what to do. We'll listen to our teacher, one kid said, and be quiet and still. Diggory added, and we'll be prepared and practice every drill. We'll help watch for strangers, all the kids agreed. Do you think they learned the lesson? <laughs> yes, they did, indeed. Now when they have a lockdown or evacuation drill, you can bet that Diggory Dew and his classmates always will do what they've been taught as they practice what to do. If a bad guy is in their school, they're the safety crew. Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn. Reading Diggory Dew Learn School Safety by Steve Herman. <laughs>